Hello everyone, before you ask, no, I have not reviewed this game before, and any memory you may have of this event is false. Anyone that tells you otherwise is lying to you. Now that we've got that out of the way, airships conquer the skies. I think the best place to start is at the beginning. So, I loaded up the game, and the first thing I noticed is that I'm already sinking into debt. Don't worry, it only gets worse from here. You see, various anomalies decided to flee their oppressive countries and come to my oppressive country instead. This, in turn, put a massive strain on the economy due to their rampant crime and excess collection of welfare checks. I lost everything, dude. Awesome. I can't fucking deal with those pirates. Every time I attempted to peacefully remove them, more would just come in, creating an infinite loop of scraping up a small amount of money, building a small fleet to remove them, lose the small fleet because it couldn't do enough damage, and frantically scream at the little people on my screen for not doing a better job. After repeating this cycle for a very long time, I was eventually able to break it with the help of one of my friends who had generously loaned me very large sums of money, money that I had no intention of paying back. I then used this to build a big enough fleet to conquer new land, only to then realize that if I wanted to travel more than five meters, I'd need to build something called a supply ship, because apparently it's inhumane to send hundreds of people into combat without a sustainable supply of rations. Personally, if it were up to me, I would make them fight to the death with the first First person to go down being tonight's dinner. Unfortunately, telling your crew to systematically cannibalize one another is not an option in this game, so I eventually caved in to union demands. However, another thing came to my attention. Apparently now, I have to make something called a war declaration. This is because of some new otherworldly concept known as diplomacy. What I failed to notice, however, was that the empire I just declared war on might have friends. Very powerful friends. This is known as an alliance, and you will need a very good relationship with the other nations if you wish to form one of your own. These relationships are mostly calculated by reputation, an extremely simple numeric value to determine whether you're a good person or not. To give you a quick rundown, bribe everyone with delegations and accept everyone's delegations that come your way, and people will like you. Repeatedly insult and wage war on everyone, and all of a sudden, they don't like you very much. Now, if you like stirring the pot a little, and haven't taken your recommended dose of olanzapine, you might be thinking, oh my god, he's literally me, and begin your own tirade. While this might seem fun at the time, doing this will not only result in your reputation being ruined beyond repair, likely preventing you from making any pacts or treaties, but will also make everyone want to collectively wipe you out, and unless you're a master strategist with a massive fleet, you aren't going to win this war. Speaking of fleets, there is a lot you can customize with your airships. Honestly, I don't plan on going very far into this, as I already covered the basics in my first video. However, what I will cover is the contents of the overlays tab. These show you all kinds of cool statistics, such as aerodynamics, how much health each module piece has, and what modules are most likely to explode, as well as how much residual damage the the explosion will do to the module surrounding it. If you wish to reduce your chances of exploding, this can be done in a couple of ways. Your first option is to get rid of anything highlighted in yellow. Next, you'll want to forfeit your land, forfeit the game, escape to the mountains, and live out the rest of your days as a Tibetan monk, knowing you lived a fuller life because of it. If that doesn't pique your interest, however, the second option is probably more appealing to you. Simply coat your shoes or at least the most explosive parts of your ship with the strongest armor you have at your disposal. I personally recommend heavy steel armor if you have access to it. While yes, it does weigh a bit, I still think it's worth using as it has very good endurance towards both blast and piercing damage while also coming at a reasonable price. Regardless, the armor type you use is all dependent on your playstyle, so I suggest doing your own experimentation to find out what armor suits 
suits you best. But now, I want you to turn your attention to your towns and cities. Prior to the overhaul, all they really provided was a preset amount of income and a location to build more ships. While both of these are still the case, you can now create buildings within these once barren wastelands. You have buildings for monetary gain, buildings for fleet productivity, buildings for research, which are especially valuable since the more advanced your technology is, the more buildings you gain access to, and finally, buildings for spy networks, both to speed up your own and slow down others. Prior to the overhaul, a spy's sole purpose was to catch a look at enemies' defenses while charging you a fee for their time. This, however, was entirely pointless, as you could achieve the same result by sending a ship to their territory, seeing what they have, surrendering, and sending your ship back to home base with your newly acquired intel. This was before ships had a stamina bar for supplies, so this came at absolutely no cost. However, now, spy networks play a far more crucial part in geopolitical warfare, as now they can be used to cause mass unrest in your enemy's territories, which, if left unchecked, will almost always result in a coup. In conclusion, unless the developer turns airships into a visual novel, or finally adds the trebuchet module, this will likely be my last video covering the game. Overall, I think the overhaul great improved in a number of ways, providing new, more challenging ways to play, with a very much needed graphical redo on top of that. Better videos are on their way, as I already have a few games in mind that I wish to cover, so keep an eye out if that piques your interest. Until then though, have a good night. Yeah,